So in this video, we are going to go over how you can create a search campaign like this search campaign here, but in the Google ads editor suite, because it is so much quicker and so much easier to do. Uh, I really love using Google ads editor suite rather than the actual platform. I find the platform can be quite slow, quite laggy, and especially when you duplicate either campaigns or ad groups or ads, it is really, really slow and I want to be quick. I want to be efficient. So I love using the ads editor suite rather than the actual platform. But let's go over this campaign we are going to be replicating and sort of assets I'm going to use to help me with it. So if you watch my other videos, a lot of videos I've done around this search campaign for emergency pl plumbers in Bristol. And so we're going to have one, two, three, four ad groups here and our ads are going to look something similar to this. So it's urgent plumber near me. And to help us do this, we have four frameworks or templates that are free for you to use. So the first one we have is our keyword research document. So I'm not going to go through the individual keyword research or creating the ad copy. I've done that already in these frameworks that are free for you to use. So we have the keyword research done in this one. Then in this one, we have our ad copy done and our differentiating, differentiating ad groups and the selective Keywords we're going to be replacing in the headlines and also descriptions to make them different in per ad group. And then in this template or this cheat sheet, you have 25 site link examples for you to use. So you can copy and paste these. And then in this one, we have 68 call out extensions for you to use for free uh, under several different categories. So pick them wisely to yours, uh, but also recommending when you're using these extensions to make ones that are also specific to your business. Okay, these are more general, more broad ones, but you need to add in your tailored ones, as this one would suggest down here. Okay, so let's carry on. So we are in the Google Ads Editor Suite, and bearing in mind with the Google Ads Editor Suite, you have to sort of navigate it via this bar down here. Okay, so under my account here, I am just gonna go down on the left-hand side to Campaigns where we have free made already, and I'm simply just gonna go add campaign. Okay, this is gonna be called campaign four. I'm just gonna copy and paste this name here and add it to here. So I'm using command C quite a lot with my Mac to do things. So if you don't see me actually copy it manually like this, I'm just doing it command C, it makes it so much quicker. So we're just gonna go over the campaign settings. I'm just gonna set it to 10p. Uh, we are going to use maximize clicks to start with at a pound limit. Search, we want to disable, um, let's pull this out a bit. We want to disable these two because they waste budget. And I'm going to keep these all the same. I'm going to keep this to people in or regularly in your targeted locations. because what we're doing is a campaign that's specific to Bristol area. So I don't want people outside of Bristol but have shown interest in Bristol, maybe because they work there, to be able to see my ads because they're just not relevant and not in our sort of targeted location. So it makes no sense to do that. Okay, cool. So we have the settings done. What typically what I like to do is go over, go over quickly in Google Ads Editor. Once I'm finished, I take it to the platform, Google Ads platform, and then I go over it in more detail, making sure I've covered all the areas I want to. Cool. Okay, so that's the first thing we do. Let's add a ad group. So under this section, we can click to add ad group. You, make, you need to make sure this is selected here. And I'm just gonna go over to this framework again. And the first ad group name we have is Emergency Plumber. So now we have the ad group selected. I'm ignoring all those for now. And then we want to go to keywords. So under keywords, we can click ads. Um, can we add multiple? Okay, let's try and add multiple. I'm just gonna select all these keywords we have. and see if we can add it in like that. Yes, okay, cool. So we can add all those keywords in in bulk, which is really good to do. 
And the next thing I'm going to do is just select all of these and change these from broad to phrase match. So that is done there. Let's move my face here. The next thing to do is to now we have the keywords done. We have our campaign selected. We want to go to ads and we want to add an ad. Okay. So let's have that ad selected. And what I'm going to do, typically I would open this ad copy section on the screen on the monitor to the left of me and I'll do my work on the right. So you won't be able to see that, but you will see my face moving quite a lot because I'm looking at the left hand side to pull it over to the right. So I'm literally just going to copy and paste the headlines from my document I've already made. And I'm going to do the headlines and then I'm going to move on to the descriptions. And once that's all done, we are then going to add in our add in our ad extensions. So we're just going to focus on site links and call outs for this example. Okay, I'm just going to whiz through this. Okay, cool. So that's the ad done. We've literally just copied and pasted it from our template we've made. Next thing to do here would be to go down to the add asset section. And what we're going to do is add in some site links. So we have this document here with some example site links. So these are very broad, as I said, and they're more general site links for you to use. However, I would make sure within your campaigns, you always have very, very specific site links and ones that really complements the link that the initial ad is going to. For this example, I'm just going to pull this to the left of me again. Actually, no, I'll leave it here just so you guys can see. So let's go add site link and we're going to do it to the campaign level site link rather than account level because we want to be more specific. Um, these are ones I've already added, but I'm just going to show you how to add them yourself. So now we have that there. Let's go to here and see what we want to add in. So get free quotes. That's probably not relevant to what we want to do. We have a call now. Can't, we'll just add contact us for this example. Contact us. And then we have the description one goes in this line here. Get in contact today via phone or email. And then we have our final URL. So we find a contact us page and we're just going to copy and paste this. So there we have our first site link made at the campaign level. I'm just going to go back to add site link. And I'm just going to click on add. And okay. And there we have another, another site link to add. So I'm just going to run through these until we have about four site links. Okay, cool. So there we have four site links created for this campaign specifically, the campaign level. Now what we want to move on to is call outs. So let's go on to call outs, emergency free. You have some at the account level, but I'm just going to show you how to add these in again. Okay. Once again, we're going to go from this framework here, which has 68 examples of call outs for, for you to use. So pick the ones that will be as best suiting for this campaign as possible. Bearing in mind, these are a bit more general. So you would always want to add in your specific call outs for your business. So there we have four campaign level uh, call outs added to this campaign now. So basically the, what I like to do with my campaigns is create the first ad group to a really good level. So then we can just easily duplicate it out and just change out the one, the keywords and to the ad copy. So that is the quickest way to create a campaign is just duplicating the ad groups, duplicating the ads within and everything within the ad group, and then just tweaking it slightly to suit the next ad group. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And to do this, we click on our campaign here. We go to our ad group. We want to make sure our ad group is selected. 
and we're literally just going to go command C and there you have it uh, duplicated I'll show you with this we can go copy and then I can go paste and we have the next ad group created and as per our framework we have here the next one is 24 hour plumber so let's go back and we're just going to name this ad group 24 hour plumber but we can't see the ad, uh, we can't see the keywords under this section of the of the Google Ads editor. Once we have the ad group selected, 24 hour plumber, we then need to go to keywords and targeting. And yeah, these are the wrong keywords. We don't want these keywords, so we're just going to select them all and press back, which would delete them. And then I'm just going to come here, copy and paste, command C, go back. Um, I'm not going to add individual keywords. I'm going to do it in bulk and I'm just going to go to here and paste. And this will add in all my keywords at the broad match level. And I'm just going to select them all and change them all to phrase here. So there we have the keywords um, changed out. The next job for us to do is go to our ads. So this is our 24 hour plumber ad here. And I'm just going to bring this back over here, which is our ad copy. Bear with me. So this is our ad copy here, which we've already created. So this is our first, if I can. So this line here is our first ad group we made, which is emergency plumber. The next ones we have are 24 hour plumber, urgent plumber, and same day plumber. But all we want to do with these ad groups is because they're very, very similar searches. We just want to change out the main keywords in the headlines, which are these first four. I always put them to the first four in this template. And you can see we change out those slightly there. And also a few in the descriptions. So we have description one and description three. We need to change out in each of these new ads per these new ad groups. So let's do exactly that. I'm just going to bring this to the left of me so I can easily copy and paste. And that's all we're going to do. We already have the ad created here. So I'm just going to co completely delete these. So I know which ones I need to replace. And I'm just going to copy and paste it from my ads copy template. And I'm just going to paste it in here. And this is very, very simple and the quickest way to duplicate anything. So there we have, that's already the headlines done. Now I'm going to go to the bottom and I know I need to change out description one and description three. So I'm just going to delete those to remind me that. And then I'm going to go to my ad copy template and copy and paste description one and then copy and paste description three. There we have our description one description three changed out. And now that ad group is completely different, even though it's duplicated, it's got all of the same ad copy minus the changes we made to headlines uh, to the headlines and descriptions it's now got new keywords and it will have the same ad extension so the same site links and the same call outs um, and yeah we've just duplicated that and created a whole new ad group of everything included in it within two minutes maybe so now that's all done the next job is to just go through and do the exact same for the remaining two ad groups which will be very very quick so i'll just quickly speed through that And there we have it. That is our uh, ad groups now duplicated and they have all got the changing and differentiating, differentiating keywords and ad copy now. Next thing for us to do is to just post these changes. Just select all campaigns. And now we're gonna post these and then we're just gonna check it on the actual Google Ads platform. So we'll just go back to what the main platform now and we can see the number three campaign is here. We have 24 hour plumber with the correct search keywords, emergency plumber. Yep. Same day, urgent plumber. So they're all good. Now let's check our ads for 24 hour plumber. Okay. Yeah, I can see that I did the 
digital uh, display path as emergency plumber now I've checked that one thing I can do is just make sure I go to 24 hour something like that so it's good to always check through in case you miss anything like I did here okay cool and we can see we have the same site links we had selected so these are the site links we made uh, so they're all good so they're all selected so I'm just going to quickly go through each of these and make sure I have the display path set to emergency plumber or so on and so forth but overall yeah that's it that is exactly what we want to do um, yeah so the Google Ads editor is really easy to use guys if you want to connect with me on LinkedIn please do I'd love to connect to you guys and if you have any messages about Google Ads Facebook Ads or marketing in general then please feel free to reach out to me my link will be in the description. All right, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.